He's deep and tailback, but they handed to Stewart around the end. And he's got a block from Ridley. And he's got a big gain out across the 40. It's Bo Scarborough in the game. They again flip it to Stewart. Second time they've called this play. This time the Trojans do a better job on it. Receivers the after the catch. Tied who are two for eight on third down. Need 13. Hurts. Shows the arm. Throws it into the end zone for a touchdown. Our Darius. And Chris Hawkins. And you've got a one-on-one -on -one matchup right here. He's actually going to work and get pushed out of bounds and then just use his speed to go by the corner this time. Watch. He gets physical all the way. Pushes him out of bounds. But he doesn't give up on the play. Marshall, his strength as a corner is his physicality. He doesn't have the speed to be able to run with our Darius Stewart. And if you really wondered coming in, if Jackson was going to take away Ridley, how would Marshall do against Stewart, who the Alabama folks think might be their best receiver? That time, Hertz had time to make the throw by rolling out to his right, and you can see Stewart gets behind Marshall for the touchdown. You see Hertz just plant his feet, rifle that thing, and you said it. Stewart was shoved about three yards out of bounds, but just kept fighting his way back into the field. And as long as he's pushed out of bounds, He's fine to work himself back in. And 11. And a play action look. Hurts flips it near side. Stewart makes one man miss. And jumps out of bounds. Option on third downs. Hurts instead looks to the right and breaking wide.